Solar photovoltaic or PV generation is clean. Its costs are coming down and it can be adapted to many customers and grid configurations. Solar panels are versatile, ranging from small rooftop installations to sprawling solar farms. For grid planners, this points to opportunities and questions that must be answered. Let's consider a neighborhood where demand for electricity is growing. Today, grid planners ask, as more solar panels are added to local distribution grids, can we reduce or eliminate a need to invest in new power lines? Could solar serve the growing demand at a cost lower than that of adding the power lines? EPRI is working to answer this question. To learn more, let's go to Murcia, a sunny region on Spain's Mediterranean coast. Here in Murcia, during summer, electricity typically peaks in the afternoons when air conditioners are working hardest. Winter peak demand can be as great as summer, but the peak occurs after sunset to keep buildings and people warm. So in heat and cold, daylight and dark, Murcia's power distribution system must be big enough and strong enough to carry the biggest load. Let's take a closer look. EPRI studied an area of the region's power distribution system that's made up of lines that can deliver different levels of load. We can compare these to highways that carry a lot of traffic and side streets that carry much less. As electricity demand grows, certain power lines and parts of the circuits may reach the limit of the load they can carry. If the lines cannot carry the load, how will consumers get the electricity they need? Traditionally, utilities install larger power lines or add new lines to reinforce a circuit. Today, with so many solar panels coming online, some people believe that adding power lines or reinforcing them may not be necessary. Is this true? Let's answer the question by learning what EMPRI has learned in Murcia. For a sunny afternoon with high load, solar panels could provide enough power in a specific area. But grid planners must include cloudy days and winter nights. Murcia's cloudy summer days can be sultry and hot, and air conditioners still have strong appetites for electricity. Demand in this area remains high, so in winter, after the sun goes down, or in summer when the clouds arrive, we can't count on solar panels alone. For all options available to them, grid planners focus on reliable delivery at an affordable cost. Although we've seen that we cannot rely on solar in the same way as our traditional reinforcements, we wanted to compare the costs for the cases where solar could help. In Murcia, we look closely at one area on the electric distribution system to answer the question, which would cost less under local conditions? Add more solar or reinforce the local power lines? Would we save money by relying more on solar panels distributed in the local grids? Would we rely less on power lines in a hypothetical case in which solar panels could replace them? To answer those questions, we analyzed in detail an area of Morcia's capital served by one particular substation. To really test the questions, we looked only at summer days. Forecasts indicate that demand growth will result in overloaded distribution lines in this part of the network. For our study case, when we analyze the solution to the overload with new solar power, we first assume guaranteed sunshine. Then we solve those overloads by locating and deploying distributed solar PV in ways that best prevent or resolve grid congestion. We then calculate the cost of this solar solution, which adds up to 1.9 million euro. Next, instead of installing solar PV in the grid, we determine those power line reinforcements that best solve those same problems of grid congestion or overload. When we calculate the cost of the cable and other components, the total is only 26,000 euros. So what have we learned? We've seen that solar is not effective all year around. And for our study area in Morcia, even when we work under the assumption that sunshine is guaranteed, the minimal solar PV deployment will be more expensive than power line alternative. It is important to note that each area and case is different and requires its own study to figure out what solutions will work best. Distribution companies have the knowledge and expertise to calculate the best solutions that combine new resources with existing power systems. Solar photovoltaics is a great source of affordable, clean energy necessary for the evolution to a more sustainable future. It can be deployed closer to the load points, even behind the meter, but the electricity networks needed are still the same with or without solar panels. Those cables reaching our homes provide guarantee of supply and quality of service to all the connected customers. The Electric Power Research Institute provides research and tools to engineer an integrated grid 
that will connect all the resources to deliver an affordable, sustainable, and secure energy supply. For more information, visit EPRI.com.